Gale. Uh, first question is about men's basketball. So every day, uh, the NCAA men's basketball is back in full swing. Um, what is it like or dislike about men's college basketball? Well, you see, this is the one sport where I like the college product more than the professional product. Now, if the NBA was played in November through February like it was in April, it might be a different story, but I love the different styles of play because, you know, there are, there's the triangle offense, there's the isolation offense, there are different offenses that they run in the NBA, but not like in college where you've got Jim Beheim's zone defense, Billy Donovan's full court press, the guard play, in my opinion, has a much greater impact in college basketball than it does in the NBA. In the NBA, you can't get by simply having a couple of good guards who can shoot lights out or penetrate. You can't do it. You need, you need, yeah, you need big men, and you also need a guy on the wing. You know, a small forward shooting guard who who, who has good handles, who can dribble well and penetrate, but can also hit the outside shot. And I like, the, I just like the game better in, in college basketball. Now, yeah, it's slowed down a little bit. They're not quite as athletic, of course. It's college versus pros, but I just like the way the game is played at the college level more than the NBA, and who doesn't love March Madness? Yeah, I think so. And, and actually, the, the college season is the perfect one. Um, the tournament is the perfect tournament setup. I mean, it's all the complaints we have sometimes about other sports. The season's too long, or, or the selection committees, and no playoffs, and things like that. Basketball has all that, and what I find interesting is every college has a men's basketball team, and you can enjoy almost any game. I mean, it could be uh, New Hampshire State against uh, Connecticut, and you can still sit down and watch it and, and enjoy it. Well, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes tip off their season tonight down in Iowa City against the Hampton Pirates. This is a this is a Hampton team that went 18 and 13 last year. They beat Penn State, or excuse me, they got close to beating Penn State last year in an invitational tournament. So they're not a slouch team. And then on Monday, Iowa Iowa has to play North Dakota State, who beat Oklahoma in the opening round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. So I will get to that later on with Bobby Hansen, who is the color guy for the Iowa Hawkeyes hoops broadcast, coming up here at about 6:30. But uh, yeah, I, I am a big fan of the college basketball. Basketball. And again, the NBA is partly to blame for that because of, you know, I, I just, I, I look at the NBA and there are just too many Robert Orys. Now, I know Robert Ory doesn't play in the NBA anymore, but he's a classic example of a guy who would just sandbag for three quarters of the season. Then when March hit and April hit, he would turn it on and the numbers would just go through the roof and he won all those championships on some teams. And uh, I, there's just too much of that in the NBA for my life. Yeah, but I still watch. Yeah, and, and I know in the past uh, we talked about the World Series and how year after year there seems to be less interest in it. Uh, March Madness, especially when it gets down to the Sweet 16, the increase with casual fans really blocks it. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, there's be, people that don't watch a college basketball game all year and will sit out and watch uh, one of those final 32 games. Look at, look at some of the people, I mean, I, I, I used to have, I used to do a, uh, an NCAA uh, bracket pool, you know, in college, and I remember one, one, one lady won my, my pool, sure. picking solely off of the logos for the nicknames. Right. She sat there with her boyfriend, and she's like, okay, who are these, the Huskies? Okay, who's Oklahoma State? They're the Cowboys. You know what I mean? She did that, and she won it. Now, I mean, part of that was the fact that everybody else in the pool just had a horrible bracket that year. Um, but yeah, that just goes to show you, I mean, everybody gets all in in the NCAA men's basketball tournament.